one A7 when I walk through. Nothing but the best when I slide by. Check yourself at the door before you check me. Take a picture, write it down, I don't give a fuck. Better reach for the sky, can't touch this. Take a slide on that little bitch, no hands. What all you niggas put together couldn't come close. Certify, I'ma burn them all at one time. Set the stage, I'ma kill them all at one shot. Start the game last stage, wanna meet the boss. You can talk to me quick, but don't talk slick. Got it for 100 degrees in the bed, though. I was looking at the time, cause it's my time. The whole world finna know me for the dope game. I ain't never been ashamed, put that on my name. Deep in, down bad, let's ride, dirty. 36. Yo. Use my code, Third Coast Gaming on SeatGeek. 20 hours off your first starter. Stop tripping, support your boy, and I'm the best. Let's go. What's up, what's up? It's your boy, 3CP, the best in the world. The guy who single handedly ended the career of J Mel Flow. Yes, I said it. I gotta just love doing it. Anyway, man, we back with uh, another review. YouTuber reaction video. Um, I always wanted to do this one because G Maya uh, is a, a very important YouTuber in f me finding out about Madden YouTube and people can make money off of Madden and having YouTube channels and people watch, even that people even watch guys play Madden. Or uh, so when I first started watching YouTubers. Or even playing uh, Ultimate Team a lot. It was like Madden 25, and I ended up finding out about G Meyer. Mr. Otis Bulbs was one of the first guys I subbed to. Then it was G Meyer. No, it was I'm. It was Go to Sports. I Maverick. Then G Meyer. So around that time, G Meyer had a little beef going on with Golden Sports and I Maverick. They had like a little. They was doing something about, like, if you go way back to, like, the old Madden 16, Madden 25 videos of G-My Head, he was going hard at these dudes because they was, like, uh, taking people's money from the subscriptions of these websites that I remember, I remember used to have. He used to have, like, a, he used to have a group of people that they made, like, a Madden website, Madden something, and they was charging people, and people was, like, not getting their money. Or they was trying to unsubscribe or like cancel their subscription. They were still charging them and stuff and just doing all kind of stuff. Pretty much the, he was saying they were just greedy about money. These guys, the Americans, the Golden Sports. Like the Golden Sports wasn't part of the the the, uh, the website, but he was still like doing other stuff. And uh, yeah. And he came, he was going hard. I mean, I even asked, I even asked America about it when America used to have this. He used to have a, a, a little Q&A session. When he was coming up, he would just get on there and just answer questions. People emailing me, so I asked, I'm like, what do you think about this guy, g Mario talking about you? Well, then, you know, he, just, he didn't really say much about it. He was like, you know, I just kind of just, he answered a question before, a previous question. And he was like, it's kind of late to the, the question before. I kind of just don't, I just kind of just like, don't talk, don't think about it. You know, he didn't really want to address it, but uh, anyway. So, we're like, who, who, was, who was wrong? We never know what it was, but. Uh, G. Maya always brought the facts about the stuff, so he wasn't just out of this saying stuff. <coughs> so, one thing I like about G. Maya is he doesn't just go with the flow, but like what everybody else is doing, or he does. He doesn't run a lot of meta things as much as everybody else. He he'll do a lot of different stuff. As a Madden player, some people say he's not good. Some people say he's trash. Some people say he's good. Some people say he's entertaining. Like I said, his videos at Madden 16 were really entertaining. Now he kind of just takes the game for what it is. You know, he's not as the same as he was as the Rage and G Maya, but he still does this. You know, it's just if you watched him for a long time, you would know what I'm talking about. And then there's the part about his chat. We know his YouTube or uh, his his Twitch channel, his Twitch chat. It's kind of sensitive, so, you know, you get banned for everything in there. Like, you can't give him advice. You can't do none of that stuff. You get banned for everything, right? And, you know, over here, we don't do that. But that's never left me out. That's just how they roll, you know. But all that being said, I like g Maya, And uh, I want to see what y'all think about this. And if y'all think he's, what do y'all think about him? 
So we're gonna watch this video. You may have noticed that it's limited see. space. So we have the legends. Oh, I got the fucking this. We have on. the ultimate legend O-line. We've been spreading out a lot of the different abilities, and it gets very, very difficult to maneuver to put everybody it. in. So what we're gonna be doing today? I got today, my damn microphone we're gonna on, actually so I got take the flash on. out. Of the right now he's okay, putting in a, he's lineup. using that free cornerback and we're going to actually put Bo Jackson in for this game now the reason we're going to put Bo Jackson is so Bo we'll Jackson see what's into going on here. Game is because Bo Jackson is already in the lineup so that we can add him in as a secondary right, so player uh, Keith into the game and he it doesn't the, affect the boost uh, one thing about Jemaya uh, from that crew he All right, really so look for Bo Jackson again, <laughs> and then we're just going to give Bo he Jackson doesn't spend a lot of money make him decent uh, he can re grind solos in, and everything to get um, coins he's got. The guy that we just spoke about. So that he is like a true no money spent. Like otherwise we can't utilize him. He spent some. I think he spent some money, but right literally now? he can. He does uh, like every solo, we're gonna everything, and he just. Um, Charles Woodson. He uh right. now, can really Charles get Woodson coins garbage, right? like, let, let's, let's just from say this saving stuff, and it's like that's the one thing about him. Like he can really get a good thing without spending money. If that happens, then we're gonna raid sell Charles Woodson now. Because it really won't matter. You're like, no, nothing will really matter in, in that regard. So we're going to give Bo him Jackson. Tank and Bruiser for this game as he replaces uh, Corderell Patterson just for this one game. And then we're going to give Keith Taylor. Uh, I believe he gets everything okay, suitable along the lines of what we're going to need. This name might be good enough. I might, I might well, check you know, him out I when really I, uh, if I ever get, get to him. For zero. We're going to give him pick artists for he gets one. He's an for zero? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, he's going to get Deep Out KO. Um, deep out KO should still be one. Deep out zone KO. Uh, so that's one. Abilities two, and man, no, this, three, these fucking. So then a flat zone KO. Abilities and man, because I believe that Charles Woodson is utilizing three. Uh, so he's just doing all that. Look at the gameplay now. On this team, people would have. We fight for that edge. But why, why are we talking about that? Uh, 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 for one thing, I know the G Miles offense is yeah, always he uses the catches and throws dude. streaks. Bo Jackson like, is he doesn't. Dude. You can't really bro, find a lot of people to do the, hell up. the stuff God that he does. Damn, Yo, he bro, is whoa, uh, whoa, straight. Whoa, bro, I'm gonna throw blast? streaks and I'm gonna use a catch. Yo, dude, with you. bro, warm though. And you can't, God, you can't knock him for. Uh, Hold on, why doesn't it? Zonka have any abilities on his circle? What the hell is this, dude? Now this is his. This is his live gameplay. You don't think I did it? Even though I just did it in the in the pre in the pre I like his pre recorded oh, run it out, game run it out, run it out for six. Okay, yeah, he ain't doing nothing. Yo, James Bond, what's good? Appreciate the sub, brother. How you doing, brother? All right, so what were we just running a while ago? Was did, did the pistol place. work better as a run play, or were we gonna stay? Okay, we're gonna. Well, okay. yeah, Buffalo playbook. Brunk playbook is doing that. That guy's doing that. Okay, so OJ Howard is there. Calvin is there. I don't really. Oh God damn! I picked the wrong play. Yo, James Bond, appreciate you, brother. What's good with you? How you doing? Hopefully everything right, so is good with you that. all as well. Health and wellness. Everything is good, bro. That's all I can ask for for my brothers. <laughs> yeah, he must have blinked his eye when you were putting on the abilities. Dude, I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> but the dude's probably on drugs. But look, that's not what this is about, dude. Like, <laughs> quite honestly, dude, if you want to do what you got to do, do it, dude. Drugs. Like, whatever. All right, hold, hold. He on defense. Oh, he on offense. He on offense. Oh, that's an open man right there. Just straight streaking. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so that's six. That's six right there. All right, that's six. We're not worried oh, yeah. about that. This dude is garbage. What we're worried about is... No, this is what I don't understand. Like, it's so simple for him to do stuff like that. Like, he did, he knows he's, he's stone streaks for so long that he just knows how to get a guy to go past him. And I've been wanting to get my receiver to get that catch animation where he run under the ball. I don't understand why Jerry Rice won't do that. I get Jerry Rice off, but this nigga always turns around and draws back. But, uh... Yeah, that, that's just, I mean, how, he had a dude backed up, and he still ran right past this guy. <laughs> and, yeah, and then this, that's kind of where I always get, the, when I say somebody garbage, uh, most of the time, I can tell when a garbage player is garbage. G. Meyer just says it, everybody, everybody's garbage to him, but there's guys he knows are actual garbage. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of where I get my stuff. We have to dude. see if this dude, Keith Taylor Jr., if he if he's is he senior junior whatever he is dude we got to see what he's doing timothy tebow is throwing the ball like a savage right now Dang, so that's that pretty thing good stuff. off the back foot too. um we'll figure out what's going on we'll figure out what's happening i just got to see because if he plays better than charlie woodson charlie woodson's getting ready sold right now and we gonna come up off that one point whatever mill and just go from there cool. one point whatever mill and we good to go dude that's it that's how that's how we, right, that's so how we're gonna are. work it you know what i'm saying see what he does on defense you give him one game 
pass. What, what, are you, what are you talking about? Oh. What do you mean you give him one game? And another thing about guys race that he said, race selling. This is another where I've got my thing from. If you don't produce on my team, you get gone. Like, G my you talking about me switching playbooks and switching players? No. These this G my we always he's having a bit like I get this this guy ain't gonna stay but one day, one game. He switches like I give the guys a few games before I uh before I raise sell him. He just go G my will raise sell you in a second. And uh that's how the nigga if you if you ain't producing for the team, you do something stupid, we getting rid of you. That's how it is. Pat, you're not good at Madden, so why are you worried about how many games he's gonna have? <laughs> you're literally the worst Madden player ever. Like, quite literally, you make me sick. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, you understand that? Bro, do you understand that you make me sick, dude? All right, hold on. Don't answer that. All right, hold on. What do we got here? That's going to be right, he's running in the 4 6. Young blood. Bro, he's running the 4 3 6 1. Right, that guy goes there. So, this is a there pretty is, popular uh, little defense. Is gonna be For some, Reginald most White. people don't uh, uh, we run it. Put, uh, chin there. Is but get he knows how to make the substitutions and stuff right, so to get, gonna, like, safeties okay, in. Go. Linebacker. Okay, let's go. Let's well, go. he doesn't do it here, but he's got right, Patrick Willis. About... Okay, so that's good. I mean, he's what got Patrick Willis right as a right? user. Hike that's the that's Hike good. The ball, dude. Hike it. And he he loves he sends team. pressure. G Myers is gonna send you pressure when you like, play him. You about. To the left, he's blitzing you every play. Oh, to Dion, to Dion's side. Wow. Bro, oh. D you got acrobat though. That was a terrible pass. Bro, D <laughs> look, throw it. We want to see about Keith. Can you throw it to the left, dude? To the left, to the left. Everything you owe to the box, to like the if I say, we'll see. Did your mom's and I did her I'm twice. Did her twice and I did her thrice. <laughs> throw it, throw oh, it, throw it, throw it. Bro, yo, do you see the way Keith is and playing? And is his song, Guys, you saw that? his random song. On the left side? This nigga always got like a song by song. Hold on. Bro, <laughs> hold on, dude. God damn, nigga, hit that nigga. What the fuck? This nigga sent a. Y'all niggas got an ad from my city. That's like right. This street. Yo, I know that at, street. I live right, field, I live right. Watch the left side. Right, okay, we can't look at it right now. Okay, we gotta pick the play. He, yo, he, he's. Like Crossman, but that's, he's yeah. actually playing defense. Me, which is very, very surprising. Yo, dude, what the F? He's running back here. See the court. You got him. I, I, yo, dude, I, I saw what he was doing. Looks like he's in match. Look, I think he was matching. It looks like Keith Taylor is playing the hell out that left side in that deep blue zone, bro. But what about he doesn't really come out of that deep? He, he can run his like defense he the whole game. He just all I need you to you know like how some of the dudes never he just, just he back literally like was not stuff. come out. And if he's actually tell him back and in the stream. Down at the ball, oh, which is actually good. You stuff. need to do this. Because no, like, when you click uh, on the pitch, he's gonna tell you. He gonna tell you what to take your advice. Look at him. Okay, he's going to Dion. But, you know, Dion's going to pick that, but Dion is the best corner in the game, though. It's not about that. Okay, he just tried to, He tried Dion there. All right. Yeah, Dion is the best corner in the game, so it's not. that's not a big... Okay, he's quitting the game. And he's gone. Uh, look, I, I don't know what to make of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, quite honestly, I, I don't know okay, I mean, like, that guy was want to work that. Um, is there play? I, let's see. Let's see. He's going to play another guy here. Let's get another assessment, and let's see. Playing... You see what I'm saying? Look look at what he does. Like, I, I think he can replace Charles Woodson. I don't see any reason to actually keep Charles Woodson there unless I'm you guys are seeing something else. I don't know. Because that's like, you know, that's the general post play action post route. You got to analyze that. You see what I'm saying? Like, just I got that. I think when I you look at the way they the play more. their zones, this is very, very good. Because look, you see Deion Sanders? Look, guys, Deion Sanders is the best corner in the game. Watch what yeah. he does on the right side with the tight end. Look. You see, like how he's looking down. Look at Deion Sanders. No. He's looking straight down on the right side. That is great corner play in a deep blue. You see what I'm saying? Like th that's. I wish my deep blue play like that. that. A lot of the players that you have on your team right now that may be really, really good if they're not Deion Sanders, they won't play that zone the same way. And that's what I look for. That's why you like, yo, how G? How you getting the many picks? Like, what are you doing? That's what I do. I look for corners that play specific ways. So I know Dion plays like that, so I'm good to go in that regard right there. So look, with everything else that's going on right now, look at, he's running straight back on the left side, Sick. Keith Taylor, because he doesn't know the route yet. 
But then he sees and you can see both of them heading to the right. So now it, it like, dude, it, it's ready to go because I don't have to worry about that. And then look at Dion. He's still looking down. And he's more than 25 to 30 yards downfield. I, mean, I think it's okay. I think wow, we can sell. I think we can rate sell. Uh, we could rate sell Charles Woodson. I don't think we need Charles Woodson. <laughs> I believe we can rate sell him. I, I don't see any reason to keep him. I think it's time to make the move. All right, guys. I, like, dude, I think I've seen enough. Like, I don't really need to see much more. The dude is literally running back and making plays. Hey, Rose, and he did rate sell Charles Woodson. This guy right here is off the team. That's how confident I am. <laughs> 906. That's what he's selling for right now? He's under a mill piece? Oh, he's definitely gone. This this dude right here. <laughs> That's what it is, man. Uh, my assessment on Jemaya. Like I said, he runs. He does not run the, with the crowd. And his offense has really been the same for a long time. He just mouses the eyes. He just throws streaks. I mean, you can't call it a skill or this or that but he knows how to catch the user catch which is you can't everybody can't do it he knows how to make the user catch and get the animation so i guess i say he's above average player he's more he's is he more entertaining than uh let's say trying to be good at a madden get a madden at this point he's more informational now at this point of madden he, he he can teach you how to win and get good and at least make your team better at this point but i say he's above average player so i i would call him competition because if he faces defense that's really what is what he's really thrives at to me on defense because he's blitzing you every single play but uh let me know what y'all think man that's what it is uh like i said let me see another one uh give me more names and we'll watch them and uh yeah we out